Hello guys, my name is JB Dan. Today I will show you how to get the app data directory on C Sharp. Now, what is app data? Well, app data itself is a folder. Alright. App data itself is a folder on your user folder. Alright. Now, what is a user folder? Now, user folder is this. This is my user folder. To access your user folder, just type app data in percentage. Type percentage, user profile, and percentage, and it will bring you to your user folder. It will bring you to your user folder. Now, app data itself is this one right here. This is the folder app data. Now it's not a visible folder. You in order to see in order to access app data, you need to enable view. If you are on Windows 7, enable view, show hidden items. Alright. That's view, show, enable hidden items. If not, it you will not see app data. Or you can just straight up type in in the directory it will show it for you now this is the app data this is the directory to the app data on cmd it's fairly simple to access as you can see this is my user folder just type cd percentage app data and there we go it will automatically take you to local roaming you can also do CD app data, CD local app data, and it will take you instead of the app data roaming, it will take you to app data local. Now, as you can see, I will show you how to get the app data direct, app data folder directory on C sharp, or in this, or in this case, I will show you how to use the percentage app data percentage command on C sharp. Now, you won't be straight up typing what. I just type C percentage app data percentage but there is a special command on how on getting the app data folder all right create a new project as you can see search up Windows form app all right search Windows form app on the search bar right here Windows Form app on the search bar and then click here Windows Form app it has C sharp on it C sharp Windows desktop pick right here and then click next name your project we're going to pick project 1 right here and then click next it will uh, what you know choose your framework target framework long-term support out of support you know pick the news framework framework pick the news framework version here framework dot net framework 6.0 or in this case dot net 6.0 pick that and then hit click the create button it will create it for you usually when you are going to create a project Vis visual studio do not ask you what framework what dot net framework version you want to choose but in this case it's a special it's a special occasion i mean if you get asked that always pick the newest version of the dot net framework all right As you can see here, this is our form right here. We can open our toolbox and see stuff. Now we are going to rename our form right here. Click your form right here. This is form one. We are going to rename it. Change the text from form one to get app data pad. All right, get app data pad. And it changed right here. Now, as you can see here, Go to your toolbox right here. Toolbox. Search for button. 
like here drag this button onto your form here we have our button like here resize the button and change the button name from button 1 to get data directory we are going we are going to also change our text size from 9 to 14 all right now as you can see we are going to head over to our toolbox again search for text box <laughs> but text box all right as you can see here there is three option mass text mask text box rich text box or text box here we are going to pick text box drag it in into your form place it anywhere else you want to place like here and then resize your form now we are ready to code now I will reset it right here. here we go. Now as you can see in order to deal with directory you have to import a library, a C sharp library. So using system dot IO. There we go. Usually when you create a C sharp dot net framework project you will see that there is will be using this and using that it will use a lot of li libraries but don't worry those things are basically useless you don't need that unless you unless for a certain occasion now as you can see here double click your button and start coding now we are going to get a directory for but first we are going to put that special directory in a string because Programming language like C Sharp deals a lot with strings. Even with programming language like Python, which is not object oriented but rather multi paradigm, which is basically a combination of object oriented programming language and functional programming language, it still deals with strings or in this case variables. All right. In order to create your own string, type string, then type your string name. In this case get there short for get directory equals environment get get folder path environment special folder now as you can see this is the line that you need right here right here environment get pause it if you want environment get folder pad dot get folder pad environment special folder now the special folder could be anything this is my documents now if, if we test it right now let's see text box to output this result to output the string text box dot text equals get dear we are going to run this right now or like if we test this right now there it shows the user documents if we do this again there we go now this is just fetching the users documents what we want is we are going to try and fetch the app data so erase the my documents to app data now app data itself is will be called application data in C sharp now now as you can see here as you can see in this form right here 
there it is the app data folder roaming basically application data is c sharps equivalent of percentage app data and percentage you can also try out local app data let me see local app data local lo local application data like here we, then we run that thing again get special application directory and instead of app, app data backward slash roaming it's app data backward slash local yeah you can also try out other folder like for example user profile which is basically your user folder downloads I mean uh, favorites music my music desktop NS and etc so that is it for now guys this is how you get you this is how you get the app data directory on C sharp I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do please give a like subscribe and a thumbs up thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video goodbye